Welcome back to the channel guys. Today guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about Manchester and PSG guys. Europa League bound for both clubs. So today we'll be discussing about the how United and PSG can qualify. Through. Are they actually going to go to the Europa League? We'll discuss that here in this video. So remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, like I said guys, we're just going to go ahead and look at the groups real quick. So let's go to start with United first and then we'll do PSG. So this will be around like a 15 minute video. You know, so sit back and enjoy. And let's discuss guys. Let's look at this. So guys, United are in a mess right now. They're in the mess right now at the moment. They are bottom of their Champions League group. Zero points after two games. And they're possibly on the brink of reaching the Europa League. So today we're going to be breaking down this group and talking about the permutations and everything. So we're going to look at United fixtures. Then we'll look at Galatasaray, then Bayern. Then, of course, we'll you know, you know discuss. So let's start with United, of course. The main team, of course. So for United, it's simple. There's still hope for them to qualify. How exactly? Well, the first scenario is win all the remaining games. If they win all the remaining games, they will qualify through. Okay. Because let's just say, let's just say hypothetically speaking, United pick up 12 points, Galatasaray, obviously they're going to lose the game against Bayern, um, lose the game against United. So that'd be 9, 13, 12, and, you know, United is a good position. Now, how likely is that? It's very unlikely because... Yes, it is still it is possible in theory, but is it really practical? That's the thing. And I, for me, it's not because we have to look at this way, right? United, United for me, yeah. Because the thing is, Bayern away is Bayern at home. Yes, I know Bayern will probably rotate their team, but do you really think United is going to win all four of their games? I don't believe so. United will draw points at least one of those four games. I can assure you that right now, they're not going perfect. Now, if they do go perfect, I will feel free to hump. I will feel feel free to clip this, and I will humbly apologize. And you know, you guys can clip this, and I will take my words. You know, but realistically speaking, that's probably not going to happen. United's best hope is that they would need to beat Copenhagen home and away, and beat Galatasaray nine points, and they got to hope that Bayern do them a solid favor and beat Galatasaray home and away. So that would put um, Galatasaray on four points and United be on nine points. Okay. Then United, Galatasaray, of course, will still have to play against um, Copenhagen at home. I'm sorry, Copenhagen away. Seven and it's done. It's done. But United will qualify through. But here's the tricky thing, though. Do United win those three games? Because for me, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain United will, I'm pretty confident that United will, will get their home games done. It's just the away games, I'm not so sure. And guys, let's be real, guys, with Copenhagen. Copenhagen has actually been playing pretty well in this group. This is not a team you cannot sleep upon easily, you know? And I think for United, they have to stay switched on. Because that Copenhagen game is going to be massive. Let's go look at when they, when they play Copenhagen. Let me actually look at the schedule. So United play Copenhagen right after Sheffield United. Just right after two games, after right after the break. So, like I said, and then that's right before the Manchester Derby as well. And before the Newcastle game. So, for United in particular, man, this is going to be very interesting. Because they would hope that they can get the game done early. So, they could focus on, the obviously, the Manchester Derby. You know. And I just think it's going to be very interesting to see how this month pans out. Because, like like I said, with Galatasaray, man, they're going to have to do this. So, as you guys can see with Galatasaray, they're playing Bayern home and away. They're playing against Bayern at home first. Then away, then they're going to be playing against Manchester United on the at home, and then they'll be playing against Copenhagen on the final match day. So as I said before, guys, I just think that for United in particular, they have to win those three games. If they win those three games, then it's good. Then United is a good position. What if they draw against Manchester United? What if they draw against Galatasaray on the road? Seven, and Galatasaray will be on four points. But remember, guys. Galatasaray it will have the better head to head. Remember, head to head is the tiebreaker here, not goal difference. So keep that in mind. Is that um keep that in mind is that the goal difference is that um head to head is a tiebreaker there, not goal difference. So for United in particular, they like I said though they have to beat Copenhagen home and away. Because I feel like if they don't beat Copenhagen home and away, they get four points or three points, or even worst case scenario, one or two points, it's done. It's done. It doesn't even matter what happens against Galatasaray. It doesn't matter even if they win, I believe. 
they have to win against Copenhagen home and away. Because six points, nah, you, 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 seven is not going to be enough. You need nine. Nine is necessary. Because, I'm sorry, seven is not going to cut it. Seven is not going to cut it. It just won't work. Because, because here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. They would have to try to somehow get a result. They would have to try to get a result against Bayern. And Galatasaray will be playing against Copenhagen. And by that point, Copenhagen will probably already be eliminated. So, you would have to probably fancy your odds with Galatasaray. So, for Copenhagen in particular, for them to qualify. Because to be fair, I should be give them a fair chance. I shouldn't be writing them off this easily. Copenhagen needs to get a Dubinsky. They have to win one of these two games against United. If they are really serious about trying to qualify to round of 16, they have to beat United. Most they're gonna ha- they have to beat United, and it's probably more likely th- for them at home. And if they can get a draw away, Galatasaray, that's gonna be perfect. Because like I said, guys, you cannot qualify with just draws. You just it's just not gonna work. You won't have enough points. And so yeah, for Manchester United, man, it will be interesting to see what happens. Is there hope? I still feel like because here's another thing though. I could also see Galatasaray drawing against Copenhagen. I could see United getting six points, and I could see Galatasaray getting two points. So for me, the crucial matchup in this group and what's going to determine everything for me is Galatasaray United. And if Galata, if United beat Galatasaray on the road, then I think United will be fine. So for me, that is the most pivotal game of the most pivotal game. That will be the game that would determine everything, in my opinion. So, like I said, as of right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because the thing is, like, I sh- I feel like I should trust Galatas, right? But then again, can I really trust them? That's the thing, you know? I don't know, man. Because that's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But, yeah. I think we're done enough of the United discussion. Now let's talk about PSG, guys. PSG, the Champions League. So, for PSG, man, it, it, it's not looking great. Why is, the, why is the, this one different? Anyways, we'll look at this way, you know. So for PSG in particular, um, let's just look at this way. I don't really like how this is laid out, but whatever. We'll just look at this way. So this is how the fixture schedule is looking for PSG. PSG is second in the group right now with three points. Okay. PSG then play Milan next at the at and Paris. PSG have to win that game because if PSG do not win that game, they're in big trouble because they're gonna be playing away in the San Siro, and guys. San Siro is not an easy place. It is not an easy place to play at. It's a very formidable. We know how we know how crazy the Milan fans are. So then PSG then play Newcastle at home. Then Dortmund on the road. See the thing for PSG is this though is that I would say that game against Milan's a must-win game because let's put it this way. Let's just do a hypothetical scenario. Let's say PSG beat Milan. That'll be six points. Let's say that's a draw. Because Milan have been, you know, kind of draw merchants recently. Okay. So, draw there. Then let's say this is going to be a draw. Um, and then let's say, and then you have to play Dortmund the final match day. But here's the thing, though. How many points will Dortmund accumulate? Because here's the thing, though, right? Because for me, guys, P- I'm, PSG have the home games. Basically, for them, they have to ensure they win both home games, I would say. Or don't lose any of the home games. Because Newcastle look great, guys. Newcastle look amazing. Newcastle atmosphere at St. James Park is incredible. I think it's fair to say Newcastle. I have a, I think Newcastle is going to qualify. Um, it's gonna because For me, and Dortmund going to finish bottom. So for me, it's really between PSG and Milan. It's between PSG and Milan for the second and third place. Because Newcastle, for me, they might actually top this group. They genuinely might actually top this group, which is something that I didn't even anticipate I would be saying. But then again, though, we know what PSG are capable of doing. Because like I said, guys, when the pressure is upon them to perform, they have performed. Guys, remember a few seasons ago where PSG were, we all thought they were heading to the Europa League. I think it was the 2020-2021 season. It was, it was looking bleak. When they lost to United at home, and then they picked up that win at Old Trafford. That win at Old Trafford has galvanized things. Then they beat Leipzig, I believe. And, um, you know, PSG eventually topped the group, I believe. Let me actually look at that group standings. Let me see if I can find it here, guys. 
Because I remember a few seasons ago. Yeah, it was the 2020-2021 season, I believe. Yeah, this season. PSG topped the group at 12 points. And they had a superior head-to-head -head against Leipzig. Because I think PSG won, what was it, um... I think 3-2? I don't really remember. But I know PSG advanced with 12 points. So, that's the thing with PSG is that... How are they going to cope here? And as I said before... For me, it's the home games that's going to really seal PSG's fate. Because if PSG don't win a, don't win one of the two home games, then I think it's over. It's over. Like, PSG have to win at least one of the two home games. Which I'm pretty sure that they will. They'll find a way to win one of the two home games. Which one is it going to be? I don't really know at this moment. But I think PSG will win one of the two home games. But here's the thing, though. PSG looks so bad defensively. These guys look so bad against defensively, and Newcastle tore them apart. Maybe it was just one bad day at the office. Maybe it was. Who knows with this club? So, for PSG as a set, though, if they can get one of the two wins against either Milan or Newcastle, they will be fine to qualify. Because remember, guys, I told you guys before, guys, the magic number to qualify is 10 points. 10 points is generally enough at 95% of the time. And if they can get a road draw in one of those two games, they'll be fine. Now, remember, guys, there have been occasions where teams that get eliminated with 10 points go out. There have been very few occasions. But generally speaking, 10 points is enough. 11 points, I think, is enough. I don't think you could get knocked out with 11 points. So if PSG can get a win against Milan, win against Newcastle, put them on 9 points, then maybe get a draw against Milan, and then maybe get a draw against Dortmund. Hey, that's... um. 8 points. 8 plus 3, 11. That's enough for them to qualify. So, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, guys. I'm very interested to see how this one pans out. Because, guys, this is difficult to call. Because as much as I say PSG, we could see Milan qualify. We could see Newcastle qualify. Maybe even Dortmund. Maybe I'm writing off Dortmund too much in this video. But I just think Dortmund have the worst chance. So, I'm pretty confident that Dortmund will finish bottom. But I think the question is remains that who's going to get that second and third and first. Because guys, I think Newcastle might actually qualify. They genuinely have a good chance. Because Newcastle for me, like I think what's going to, this group is going to come down to the home games. Whichever team wins, whichever team wins their home games will qualify from this group in my opinion. If the team, if you, like any team that gets like any road points, oh that's a bonus. Like I said, this team, this group is going to come down to the home games in my opinion. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. I might do a community tab on these two groups um, and ask you guys, is there a possible chance that both these teams go to the Europa League? So as I said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember guys to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos and members' streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.